Former South Hadley funeral home operator William Ryder is going to jail after pleading guilty to improper treatment of bodies, embezzlement, and insurance fraud. 22 News reporter uh, Matt Caron was in court as Ryder was placed in handcuffs. William Ryder could spend up to two years in jail and 15 years on probation. After originally pleading not guilty, disgraced former South Hadley funeral homeowner William Ryder changed his mind. Guilty. Five bodies were found either decomposing, not embalmed, or not refrigerated. But if I was a family member, I'd be absolutely horrified. One nearly four weeks after death. At the end of the day, there's got to be personal responsibility. A judge sentenced Ryder to jail and 15 years probation. Investigators say his funeral home was disheveled, papers everywhere. They discovered he pocketed more than $400,000 in customer prepaid funeral expenses, money that should have been put into trust or sent to insurance companies. And the defendant accepted and kept $2,280 from Peter Martin Conway. Well, you seem just fine. Seemed like a regular person. According to his lawyer, a regular person spiraling into addiction and depression. Are you aware of any mental, psychological, or emotional illness or condition that you may now have? Uh, depression. Ryder also admitted to forging his ex-wife's signature on official funeral home documents to continue getting commission checks from insurance companies. It's a form of punishment on the one hand and also a recognition that this was, as the judge said, a case cloaked in sadness. The harm that Mr. Ryder imposed can't be undone, and Mr. Ryder will have some time behind bars to think about his conduct. And as a condition of his sentence, William Ryder was asked to write a letter to his victims and their families. The judge also said that he did not believe Ryder's crimes were done out of malice or evil. Live in our Hampshire County Bureau in Northampton, Matt Karen, 22 News.